Hey, internet people. Uh, sorry, it's just a little choppy here. I'm uh, running at full resolution and don't really have the best stuff. But anyway, um, I wanted to show you guys some of the stuff I've been working on on the server. Hopefully my cat will shut the fuck up and allow me to do that. Um, so, I'm working on a class system. It's not quite finished yet. In fact, it's far from finished, but uh, that's not my priority at the moment. I'm trying to build my own protection system at the moment. Uh, once everything's all done, it'll all be tied into the same program. It'll make it run uh, very smoothly, and we'll have a lot of custom stuff, because uh, I already do. Like, for example, if you want to see who has the most kills on the server, you can do top kills, and it'll show the top ten. And I'll reset that every once in a while. Uh, there's top KD, which is your kill-to-death ratio. You can do slash KD to see your kills and deaths and your ratio. Uh, there's stats. You level up. Um, based on your class and stuff like that. Um, classes are uh, oops, classes are done like this. You can see uh, I only have one ability so far because there aren't any other ones programmed. But uh, all the classes do different things. Uh, class list is right here. All the ones in red are not done. Actually, uh, except for martial artist. Martial artist actually does work. Disarm does work. Um, and then let's see what else uh, we got. Tons of stuff. We got factions going on, and this is uh, my own faction program, not like the one that's available on uh, on Bucket. Uh, it works a little bit differently. Um, like for example, we have faction. There's tons of faction commands. I could show you the help, but it's a lot of stuff. Uh, there's three different kinds of factions: good, neutral, evil. Evil is always at war with everything by nature. Uh, neutral is not at war with anything by nature, and good uh, can't attack other good people, can't attack new anyone unless they're at war with them, um, I'm pretty sure I set it up that way. Anyway, um, let's see what else. Uh, I have my own teleport system in place uh, that goes through the reward system. You get rewards for playing a certain amount of time, so you've got 574 minutes towards my next credit at 600 here. And uh, then you can spend credits by doing a rewards list. You can see what they have. Uh, I'm uh, still working on some of these. Like a lot of these, a lot of this stuff is like gonna get done as I like, go, because um, you know uh, different parts of things I want to put in uh, require different parts that aren't done and stuff like that. So, uh, but once it's all done, I mean, all the I guess pieces will fall into place and. Then everything will be working, but uh, uh, so yeah, the ones in red aren't available yet. Um, let's see what else. Lots of stuff. Um, I have set it so that um, the, ch the messages when you're fighting, like since you have more hit points than normal, all that stuff's handled through messages. So I set it so you can uh, do option. To see your incoming or set your incoming and outgoing combat messages to on or off, you know. So like, uh, I guess Rihanna wants me to follow her, but um, set your incoming or outgoing combat messages on or off so you can like not get spammed by tons of them. Um, let's see. I can show you a couple of the different abilities I programmed already, but screw that. I uh, so anyway, the teleport system, you do DTP, and then you can do, like, a person's name, and it'll teleport you to them. Uh, or if you're not, like, in the same faction as them, or, like, but you're not enemies, uh, it'll make, like, a request, and they have to accept it. Um, you can also teleport other people to yourself that way, which requires two teleports. Um, and you can teleport other people to other people, which requires three, but uh, you can never teleport enemies to each other, or... Um, and they always have to accept, unless they're your direct ally. And, uh, let's see what else. So much stuff that I've added. Let me think here. We've got faction chat. Blah. Nobody's online in my faction right now, though. Uh, everything in factions is done through uh, votes and stuff like that. As you can see, you can send messages to your allies too, blah, and then your other only your allies, only your allies see that though. 
So like theoretically you could send messages that other people can't see but we'd be responding to if you get what I'm saying. Um, like if my faction has an ally that other factions don't have, my faction would all see the message and, and the allied faction would see it but the other factions I'm allied with wouldn't, you know, if they don't have that ally, etc. Um, yeah, so let's see. Uh, that's just page one there. You can do lots of different stuff. Um, oh, and by the way, joining a class the first time uh, is free, and then after that it's 100000 so choose carefully. It, and the only reason I had to do that, I didn't want it to cost anything, but uh, people were exploiting it, and if you're less than level 10, I made it so you can't be PvP'd. So, and since this is a, a griefing allowed server, um, that was causing people to exploit it and uh, go grief things and not be able to be PvP'd. So I made it so it costs a hundred thousand to change. So once they hit level ten, I mean they have to spend a hundred thousand if they want to get another ten levels of uh, PvP invincibility. And uh, once I develop my own money system, which is coming up very soon um, and will be very easy to do because uh, it's already partially implemented. Once that's done. Um, all the prices in the game will be based on uh, the current amount of money in the economy so that uh, the prices scale as the economy gets more uh, inflated I guess you could say um, like for example to change your class will be 1% or, or maybe like 0.5% of all the money on the server um, to create a faction will be 1% you know and to create a town which isn't ready yet that's gonna be part of my protection system and those will be tied to factions as well. Uh, to create a town will be 2% of the total money on the server, which is going to be a lot, you know, I mean, if, if there's... That means if there's a, t a million total on the server, which is... We're way beyond that right now. Um, that means that you'd be paying, you know, 20 grand, which is, like, out of, you know, say there's 50 players, that's, that's like, your share right there. <laughs> I don't know how to describe it. Let me see. Let's let's do it this way. Show you the top ten money. Top ten money right now. Just the top ten. Let's see. Do, do money stats. Total money right now is twenty six million. So two percent of twenty six million would be like a lot. <laughs> be like five hundred twenty thousand to start a to start a town right now. So, um, yeah. Anyway, yeah, and I, uh, in case people didn't know, I changed the vote system so that it only works, uh, it only counts online players now because before it was just completely unusable because people were always offline. Uh, so, I'm sure there's more stuff that I'm forgetting, but I just want to let you know that I've been working my butt off and I'm adding tons of new stuff. Server's gonna be badass once everything's done. Uh, you're gonna really love the thief abilities that I'm working on. Like the thief is gonna be a sweet class. Be able to sneak and like backstab people and, and break into their locked chests and like break into their locked doors and yeah, pickpocket. And every class is gonna have a whole bunch of abilities. Like warriors already uh, do counter attack, so they deal damage back to the person who dealt damage to them occasionally. Um, and it's all based on your stats. Um, you know, thieves get higher critical hit rate and dodge rate. Um, let's see, martial artists can disarm people, <laughs> which is awesome, I think. It took me a while to get that to work, but, uh, you know, randomly they can disarm a person attacking them, and that means the person drops whatever they're holding in their hand. So then you can, th theoretically, if you're fast enough, steal their fucking diamond sword or whatever they've got and, uh, take it. <laughs> And since you're a martial artist, you're only attacking with fists. So as long as you're attacking with your fists, you're doing a lot of damage. Um, yeah. And then there, let's see, there's swordsmen, which uh, parries attacks, which completely blocks them. Uh, like with with uh, counter attack, you still take damage, but with parry, you don't take damage at all, and you can parry critical hits too. So um, you can really save yourself a lot of problems that way. Uh. Yeah, I think I'll cut it off for now, because it's probably already like 10 minutes of shit. So, yeah, you guys, uh, come and play. IP's in the description. 
and be sure to like this video and tell other people to come play. Alright, bye.